Okay folks, today we're going to talk about Hooke's Law after a man called Robert Hooke. So this topic is all about stretching things like for example a spring. First of all we need to measure the length of the spring originally. I want you to imagine that this spring is 20 centimeters long originally. That original length is called the natural length. So I'm going to draw the spring and I'm going to imagine that the natural length is 20 centimeters. The natural length means the original length before you stretch it. Now I want you to imagine that we take the spring and hang it up and then we add a weight to it. Let's imagine that we add a 1 Newton weight. So that's applying a stretching force of 1 Newton. Notice that the spring is now longer because there's a stretching force added to it. How much extra length the spring has is called the extension. I want you to imagine that in this case the extension is 10 centimetres. So originally the spring was 20 centimetres, now it's stretched 10 centimetres, so the new hole length is 30 centimetres. I think you'll agree that the bigger the force, i.e. the more weights I add, the longer the spring is going to get. Let's have a look at this diagram. Okay, so here we see our spring in the unstretched position with no weights added to it. And then here we see it with a one Newton weight added to it. Here we see the same spring, but we've added two Newton weights to it. Notice how when we add two Newton weights, it stretches twice as much. Here we've added three Newton weights. Notice that the spring has now stretched three times as much. It's the original length plus three of these extensions.